Hi, my name is Christian. I'm visiting Skola at the garage from Fraunhofer IPA in Stuttgart. I'm working in Stuttgart on the CareBot 3 service robot platform and I came here to take a look into navigation and control involving the implementation of an elastic band approach for local reactive planning of the mobile base. Elastic bands allow to optimize a global plan locally, minimizing the length of the path and keeping it away from obstacles, while at the same time taking into account moving obstacles. One main advantage of elastic bands is that they optimize a plan incrementally. The longer the robot moves, the more time the band has to improve the path and the better the result will be, while computational burden at every step stays small. The elastic band approach, as proposed by Katib, is mainly composed of two steps the band refinement step and the optimization step. During band refinement, we remove unnecessary bubbles to reduce computational burden and try to fill gaps in the band. During the optimization step, we calculate internal and external forces and try to modify the positions of the bubbles. The resultant modified local path is then input to a local path follower, which calculates the intersection point between the sequence of lines connecting bubble centers and the circumference of the bubble around the robot. The path follower scales velocity with bubble size and finally calculates a safe velocity taking into account robot velocity limits and subsequent bubbles in the path. For the implementation of the elastic band approach, we followed the approach as proposed by Kinlan and Katib. The sampling based plans were generated with the OMPL Open Motion Planning Library by Sukan, Moll, and Kafraki. Um, if you want to have more details about the implementation or take a look at the code, check out the OMPL global planning package or the eBand local planning package on ROS.org.